You say get we are Trying to find a good reason just to be with you You say get we are What's up? It's your girl, Breathe the Beautician, and I'm back again with another video. So today we're going to be doing a heatless ponytail. And as you can see, I'm just lightly blow drying her hair. I'm not really um, drying it completely. I probably blow dried it maybe like, I want to say a good 75%. I think the purpose is really just to try to stretch the hair and not like, you know, like fully blow dry it. So I'm using heat protectant, you guys see that as well. And I am detangling each section as I go. So once I pretty much have her blown out, I'm gonna begin um, sectioning off the back of the hair. And this is where I start to mold the back of the hair. I'm gonna be using the Nairobi foam mousse and then I'm using the olive oil eco style gel. So really, I'm gonna be molding her in layers like you would do a relaxer. So as you guys can see, I'm just going um, section at a time and then I'm applying the gel and I'm combing it into the previous section. I'm really just like molding it to try to get it as flat as possible. Once I get the back pretty much flat, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my first rubber band. And this one is gonna be thicker than the other two rubber bands just so um, I'm as I build the layers, it makes it a little bit tighter. I applied some shining gem along her part just to create the most cleanest part that I can possibly do. Product helps parting so much better like it helps the hair lay in place as you part so the same thing applies I'm just going through and applying gel um, in a little mix of the mousse and I'm gonna begin um, combing each section down until I get it as flat as I possibly can and I used to be so anti like heatless ponytails because I just feel like ponytails are supposed to have that sleek look. But after doing this one, it's like so easy to do. And you know, obviously it's not gonna be bone straight, but I got her pretty flat. This is the second rubber band I'm applying. As you guys see, it's a little bit smaller than the first one. Um, just to make sure I secure that. I'm lightly doing her edges here. Um, now for the edges, I do use edge control just because I just want a cleaner look in the front. And now we're on the other side and the same thing applies. Really just pulling down sections, applying the gel and really just starting to mold it to how I want this side to look. So here I'm gonna like slightly do her edges. I'm gonna go over them again. You guys will see that in the video. But I'm, I'm just like creating where I want them to go. And then once I get this side secured, I'm gonna go back over them just to make it a little bit more neater.
So here I'm actually using the edge control now. When I did it the first time, I didn't use the edge control. I was just trying to form where they're going. Now I'm going over it with actual edge control. So glad I broke the circles. Now I've been so stressed out, mind filled with the star cloud. Once the edges are done, I'm gonna use the Sanex strips and she goes under the dryer for 20 minutes. As you guys can see, this is how I laid them. And now her hair is completely dry. I'm gonna begin sewing on the ponytail. When I sew on the ponytails, um, I just pretty much do one stitch at the front and then wrap it. I mean, I feel like sewing it is secure anyways. You don't want a whole bunch of thread when you're sewing on a ponytail because that is going to be a pain to take out. So literally like one stitch in a wrap is good enough. For her ponytail, I ended up using uh, one bundle that came in the pack and then half of another bundle that ended up being like just enough. Um, I don't think she needed the whole two unless she just wanted like that bigger, fuller look, but we're just going for their natural look. So we did one and a half. So once I completely finish sewing the ponytail, um, I'm going to take a piece from the back. I'm going to comb that piece out. I'm going to apply some beeswax. And then I'm going to glue the base of the ponytail. And I'm literally going to wrap this piece and comb it as I go. Wrap it, spray spritz, apply a little more glue, and wrap it. That's really the best way to secure your wrap piece. You're gonna need spritz and glue and make sure you comb the piece as well because that helps pull it a little bit tighter and makes it look more neat. Once you wrap the final piece, um, of course, spritz it, hairspray, whatever you have, and then always, always dry this piece because you want to dry it as quickly as possible so once I have the ponytail secured I'm just gonna go over and touch it up and this is how it turned out guys let me know what you think as always, thanks for watching. Please remember to follow me on Instagram, add me on Facebook and TikTok, and please comment, like, and subscribe.